We're here at Hurlburt Field on the Florida Panhandle, the home base of Air Force Special Operations Command. AVSOC is the only command in the United States military that flies the AC-130. That's the military's gunship. It's a large aircraft full of a heavy armament used to support troops on the ground and fly close air support missions. We're going to go check it out and talk to the pilot and the crew to learn a little bit more about how they use this unique aircraft. As the fire control officer, I was wondering if you could just tell me a little bit more about your role on this ship. Absolutely. So the best way to describe it is I'm the offensive coordinator of the aircraft. Um, I'm really in charge of the tactical situation and the crew coordination between myself, the sensors, and the pilot. The C-130 is, you know, one of the most widely used aircraft in, you know, the entire U.S. Armed Forces. What about this airframe makes it such a versatile craft? It's a tough aircraft, so it's perfect setup for short field landings and everything up to the gunship operation. And what we do is close air support, interdiction, and armor reconnaissance in the gunship. Really, its versatility has made it last since uh, I first started flying. Well, as a gunner, uh, primarily our role is to maintain uh, and whenever maintain the weapons. And whenever a weapon decides to malfunction, it is our job to get in there and ensure that weapon gets back to working shape, so we can and, uh, continue to prosecute the enemy. In combat, we normally carry 13 to 14 crew members. At home station, because of training, we can have up to 21 on the airplane. We have a lot of moving pieces, but a lot of experts in different crew positions, which really helps build our combat situational awareness. During a normal flight, uh, combat flight, we'll have three gunners operating the weapon systems, and then we'll have one gunner laying in the back of the aircraft, scanning uh, defensively, and another gunner in, on the right side of the aircraft, also conducting defensive scans. Well, there are a lot of different mission sets that we can support, interdiction, armor reconnaissance, we can shoot boats, planes, whatever it may be, vehicles that are interfering with the friendly ground party, but our bread and butter mission is really close air support, and that's exactly what the title says, putting live rounds very close between the bad guys and the good guys, so making sure that we can get in there and protect them even when they're in the most hostile territory. You know, when you're, when you're downrange and identifying targets, how do you select the right gun for the right job? A lot of it is experience. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be in the aircraft for a while. Uh, we do have a lot of techniques on what round to use for uh, different uh, targets that we have. The 40 is primarily used. Uh, it's more accurate and direct. Uh, all the guns provide accuracy, but with the 40 and its, its size, uh, it can. it's like our sniper rifle. A 25 Mike Mike is a good uh, area dispersion weapon. It's really good for lighting fires, person on the open. Uh, also light skin vehicle. So a lot of the things that we have are, are good either either way. The 105, because it is the big gun, uh, it, is, it is the heavy firepower, um, it's, it's more used for destruction purposes. And is there anything specific about the C-130 that, that really makes it kind of well suited to, to being a gunship and to carrying those heavy weapons? Absolutely. So the aircraft flies a lot slower than some of the other uh, closer sport assets, some of your fighter types which really helps us extend our time on station, basically how long we can stay overhead, the good guys on the ground. Um, so we can be there for multiple hours, we can air-to-air -air refuel with this airplane as well, which helps extend our time. And uh, it's just an overall great asset to help them out. We a lot of ammunition. Um, anytime we receive a fire mission too, we can have rounds out within seconds versus a little bit longer time on some of the other platforms. We have an extensive defensive system suite on board. Uh, we have a crew member, the electronic warfare officer, and their primary job is to maintain defense of the aircraft at all times. 